Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Deborah Flint. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, hi Jess. Thank you. You're, you're very welcome. So first of all, what are the main objectives in the transformative capital plan at Toronto Pearson International Airport? Yes, I mean, a little context about Pearson. We're one of the top global gateways and uh, Sirium just did their ranking and analysis and we're one of the number f top five uh, connected airports in North America. Uh, so we're pretty uh, big, both origin and destination, as well as transfer hub. Uh, we're number one uh, by airports uh, service uh, quality index uh, for large airports in North America uh, and pre-pandemic we had 50 million passengers and we're very close to to those passenger numbers again so you know very important dual border airport and Lyft is our new uh, uh, way of talking about our transformative capital program it's our long-term investment in facilities and terminals uh, and this is all about addressing uh, delayed maintenance but most importantly the growth and meeting the customer expectations that passengers and our partner carriers have today uh, compared to many, many years ago. And we see that the expectations are much higher uh, for predictability, reliability, uh, and for the experience that customers would like to have during the airport process. Uh, and Lyft is all about addressing that in a sustainable way. That's great, and that's a really helpful overview of um things that are going down at the airport at the moment. But if we think a little bit more specifically, can you highlight some of the passenger facing and operational efficiency initiatives that are transforming passenger experience? Yeah, so contained in our, in our program, I think many customers will be happy to hear that uh, there's not only a new interim terminal that will be built, but we'll also uh, fully modernize our existing terminals, terminal one and three. Uh, those are significant investments. And then we'll build a brand new terminal as well. Uh, which will be, you know, have the best amenities, most efficient digital experiences, and all of that we're doing with a with a mindfulness to to cost, to sustainability, principles of circularity. Uh, so we're really excited about making these investments with partners, especially our partners from the innovation community. Uh, you know, Toronto is has the godfathers of AI. Uh, and there is an incredible amount of tech investment uh, and business that is in Toronto and in Canada. So as Canada's gateway airport, uh, we're very intentional about having a very strong digitalization uh, and building truly what we call the airport of the future. That's great. Thank you for, for um, the clarity on that. And like you mentioned, you've, you've been recognizing various rankings and indexes, which is really impressive. And one of them was regaining your ranking in Forbes's list of Canada's best employers. And you are also the only airport included in this list. How have you seen investment in people result in tangible change at your airport? Yes, as you said, the only airport included <laughs> in that list. Now, of course, I would love to see fellow airports join because airports are such great places for employment and for careers. And so many people you know, don't necessarily think about the airport part of the business as a great place to have a thriving career where one can work from anything in finance to operations to sustainability and community and environment and marketing and global business business. So I put that plug in there because uh, you know we really want uh, uh, young people, uh, people with experience already and uh, whatever age and demographic to really think about the career opportunities at airports. Uh, but for us, one of our strategic plan pillars is actually about the employee. Uh, and we think about the employee, not just the several thousand that work directly in the airport um, organization that I lead, but the 50,000 employees across the ecosystem. And with all of our capital investment, we're thinking about how can we make this a great place to work and to have careers. So we have numerous training programs, our I Am Toronto Pearson program, which celebrates and supports all of the workers, regardless of the 400 employers they might work for, uh, and then creating those spaces at the airport that are really enjoyable uh, and efficient for the airport employees to be able to come into and to work from. Fantastic, and it's clearly paying off being recognised in these days. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your insights. Thanks, Jess. My pleasure.